I was reading your interview that you gave with Metrosource, which I thought was a really great interview. And when you talked about being on Idle, the pros and the cons. The pro is, here's all this great attention I'm getting. The con is, here's all this attention I'm getting. I can't focus <laughs> on what I need to focus to do well. How have you come to manage those pros and cons as you've gotten older? In the beginning of it, you're new, so everyone else is in charge. They tell you what to do, what to say, where to be, how long you're going to work, how much time you have to rest. Whereas now, now that they kind of let me go and I get to decide, okay, how much can I handle? And I, I'll push myself sometimes and I'll realize, you know what, I, I'm gonna pull it back a little bit because I need that balance of balancing how much I put, give myself to other people and how much I give for myself. And I think that's a, a really great realization. What advice do you have for people in managing that? Because we ultimately don't all want to get to burnout, but it is important, isn't it? It feels good to have financial security and that you're making a difference. But that is only a percentage of the pie of what brings you peace and happiness. I want to be able to enjoy my life and not just say, oh, he worked so hard. Wow, look, he worked really hard. I want to be able to enjoy this experience as well. You've come a long way since those um, those days as the uh, apparently quite shy kind of guy on, on Idol. You've got this new tour. Um, you've got great new music. Is finding the David Archuleta voice a continual process for you? I think my voice progresses whenever I feel challenged by something or someone. And not just challenged, like I could be pushed from a mentor or just from a new artist that I'm just like, wow. That year when I was on American Idol 2008, I went through like a, a, a lot of changes because then I was signed to a pop label. And then they're like, we want you to be a pop artist. I was like, I never really sang pop music before. I always sang like soul music, more like ballad stuff. I'm like, no, we want you to be a hip pop kid because a lot of these teenagers like you, so we want you to appeal to them. So I had to adapt my voice again. That So when I was 17 was probably when my voice adapted the most to what it is now because it's what worked. It's what people wanted and I just kind of adapted to a more pop style. You made a, um, a big decision this year, in, uh, earlier this year, to talk um, rather candidly and openly about uh, your truth. Um, how has that experience been in the months that have come from that? And as you gear up for this new tour that you've got coming up, um, are you finding that you've, you've grown a fan base um, and love and support from the LGBTQ plus IA support? I feel like I've always had the support from the gay community since I was on American Idol, even though I wasn't aware of that part of myself then. But as far as like sharing truth, I feel like when you share truth, that's the most effective thing you can do in your life. At least that's how I feel in my life. And then my relationship with God is important, prayer. I've written songs. I just released a kid's book about prayer because I felt like, you know, that's that's a truth I want to share. Amen. Well said. It's what we stand for at Plus Life. We're all about living our best selves and living our true selves. David Archuleta, so good to see you. Excited for the tour. We'll continue watching you sing Christmas songs all the way through until next summer in your bathroom. David Archuleta, <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you, Carl.